You're invited to this online certification course, Lucid Dreaming Coach with Virginia Palmer. These courses are available in three individual levels or all together as a full course. Here's Virginia Palmer. This is a, a certification course to become a Lucid Dreaming Coach and it's in three levels. Each level stands on its own, meaning that you can do level one, which is learning to lucid dream, to go deeper into your lucid dreaming with these techniques and a ritual and the skills that you learn and through interaction, meeting your dreamers, and activating and deepening the dreamer within and then connecting to the Lemurian dreamers, the dream weaver, the dream keepers, the dream tenders, the dream stealer, the Lemurian dreamer, and we've added the dolphin dreamer is now part of the team. The, the dolphin dream, they are part. They will not be denied for sure. And then the mysterious other. In this first level, the end result really will be that you can ask for the type of dream that you want, the healing dream or a creating dream or a message from your soul type dream or a destiny dream. There's no limitations to the type of dreams that you can ask for. You will get it and you'll not only get it, but they'll be teaching a lot of different techniques for remembering your dream and of course writing it down, then interacting with the dreamers for the interpretation. And that does take practice, and that's why I've set it up to where, yes, we're going to start with a two-hour dream and R uh, and end with a two-hour dream and R um, about five weeks later. But in between time, every week, we will have what I'm calling a, a dream pod online with the group that's participating to share a dream that you got that week or that you got a year or two ago. Write it down, then we will call the dreamers in and we'll get more interpretation, more feedback, more techniques for it. Because, you know, I've been doing this a long time and I've had a dream group here in Austin for over three years. I will say that the most difficult part is remembering that dream and how to become lucid and then techniques for going back into the dream, whether it's that same night or in the morning or the next night or a week later. We have the capacity, we have the energy that we can go back into a dream, continue it, kickstart it more or less, to go the direction that you want after having learned or gotten information that was needed. Okay, so I got that. I'll go I'll go work with this and then continue the dream or let's let's go a different direction. The the magic and I do call it dream magic of dreaming is we create our reality consciously or unconsciously. This is a co creation, which is really a, a higher level co creating with the divine with the dreamers it's just a whole divine orchestration it's from the future you create your reality out of the future out of future dream out of future vision whether it's healing something on a physical mental emotional level or creating it's in the future on the dream level we go to all sorts of dimensions we go in the dream state to levels that we don't even know about yet it's just beyond the beyond, but we go there, we're taken there. This reality creation can happen whatever level it's on, from a deep healing that's needed on any level, and it can happen in the dream time, in the temple of dream healers. Ancient times, certainly Lemuria and other ancient times, the dream healers were the healers. It's unlimited. It's deep and it's unlimited in its scope. That's what level one is about. The practice and the support that you get from me and the dreamers and and from the rest of the dream pod and their experiences and their interpretations that we'll be giving. It'll be an open mic, so to speak, when you're sharing a dream and then we'll go into a dream state there calling the dreamers in and and this is where the magic really happens because each person in the pod will they'll be getting information interpretation of your dream 
maybe a, they'll get a certain piece and no other person of that, and certainly there's overlaps. It just really expands what that interpretation is throughout the five or six weeks, and that's about 33 hours I'm going to include dream time. But I also will do a private session with each person because I like to look at their astrology chart. I call it dream astrology because I can see where their unique portal of energy is specifically for dreams by looking at, you know, where their Neptune is and the ninth house, a lot of different things that I know. And also that I will know what a person's current transits are. Like if there's something big coming up with Saturn or um, Pluto, that's going to bring some energy up deep from the unconscious for healing. So we'll know to work with that and that's say, okay, in this time space, ask for a healing dream because, quote unquote, the stars are aligned for that, you know, it's just that divine orchestration. By the same token, if someone's having like a wonderful Jupiter transit, that's good luck and expansion. Or like you, Loren, having your Mars return right now and setting that tone for the action-oriented manifestation for the next two years. Well, then that's a time to like, okay, what do we want to seed here for a reality creation that is so helpful to really pinpoint the type of dreams and the timing of the types of dreams and plus it's really it's really 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 beneficial information to have I mean you want to know when some of these transits are going on so you can start working with the energy before it works with you that's level one and then level two it's about learning to dream a dream for someone else and dream a dream for the planet the Lemurian dreamers, this is the tradition, the Lemurian dreamers dream the reality. It's just so joyous and so magical because they ask for the dream, you dream it, and you get it and write it down, <laughs> and then you share it with the person because half, the, half of the dream, you don't, doesn't make any sense to you, but through that interaction. My experience with doing it these years is always right on target, quite magical, and then following that and will be level three which is becoming a lucid dreaming coach. And that's where you learn and practice. Level two will be the same format, a two hour uh, dream and bar at the beginning and at the completion and in between a weekly dream pod meeting group interaction for the practice. And the, the level three of becoming a dream, lucid dreaming coach where you practice leading journeys to the temple of dreams. And as we're learning now, there are so many different temples. There's a temple of dreams for any and every area, from the healing to success to manifestation, the dolphin dreamers and abundance and gratitude, just to name a few. Then we'll work on how to create your own dream pod in your area or wherever you want to create it or not, or work with people individually or dream for them or dream for the planet. It's all very wonderful. And I'm excited about it. I hope that you join us because it's hard to describe how exciting and magical it is. But you know, you dream every night. Everyone dreams every night, whether they remember their dreams or not. And every dream is significant and getting messages to you. I know you're going to have a very rewarding experience, also expanding to your consciousness and your reality creation. And your multi-dimensional travels will be very expanded. Register today for Level 1, 2, and or 3, this online certification course to become a lucid dreaming coach.